Hello, welcome to Life Quotes, channel where you find quotes from interesting people. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. I believe in one thing, that only a life lived for others is a life worth living. Where the world ceases to be the scene of our personal hopes and wishes, where we face it as free beings admiring, asking, observing, there we enter the realm of art and science. Although I am a typical loner in daily life, my consciousness of belonging to the invisible community of those who strive for truth, beauty, and justice has preserved me from feeling isolated. Look deep into nature, and then you will understand everything better. All religions, arts, and sciences are branches of the same tree. A table, a chair, a bowl of fruit, and a violin. What else does a man need to be happy? Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. A happy man is too satisfied with the present to dwell too much on the future. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. I speak to everyone in the same way, whether he is the garbage man or the president of the university. For even more inspiration, don't miss these life is short quotes that will encourage you to live to the fullest. Imagination encircles the world. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. I am enough of an artist to draw freely upon my imagination. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. A question that sometimes drives me hazy. Am I or are the others crazy? The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. I have only two rules which I regard as principles of conduct. The first is, have no rules. The second is, be independent of the opinion of others. It is open to every man to choose the direction of his striving, and also every man may draw comfort from Lessing's fine saying that the search for truth is more precious than its possession. At the same time, as social beings, we are moved in the relations with our fellow beings by such feelings as sympathy, pride, hate, need for power, pity, and so on. Whoever is careless with truth in small matters cannot be trusted in important affairs. Thought is the organizing factor in man, intersected between the causal primary instincts and the resulting actions. The true value of a human being can be found in the degree to which he has attained liberation from the self. There has been an earth for a little more than a billion years. As for the question of the end of it, I advise, wait and see. I think that only daring speculation can lead us further and not accumulation of facts. Children don't heed the life experiences of their parents, and nations ignore history. Bad lessons always have to be learned anew. The Nuremberg trial of the German war criminals was tacitly based on the recognition of the principle. Criminal actions cannot be excused if committed on government orders. Conscience supersedes the authority of the law of the state. I became more and more convinced that even nature could be understood as a relatively simple mathematical structure. 
Politics is a pendulum whose swings between anarchy and tyranny are fueled by perennially rejuvenated illusions. All these primary impulses, not easily described in words, are the springs of man's actions. Dear Mother, today a joyful notice. How Lawrence has telegraphed me that the English expeditions have really proven the deflection of light at the sun. The idea of a personal god is quite alien to me and seems even naive. However, I am also not a free thinker in the usual sense of the word because I find that this is in the main an attitude nourished exclusively by an opposition against naive superstition. My feeling is insofar religious as I am imbued with the consciousness of the insufficiency of the human mind to understand deeply the harmony of the universe, which we try to formulate as laws of nature. It is this consciousness and humility I miss in the freethinker mentality. Reading after a certain age diverts the mind too much from its creative pursuits. Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking, just as the man who spends too much time in the theater is tempted to be content with living vicariously instead of living his own life. I am not a Jew in the sense that I would demand the preservation of the Jewish or any other nationality as an end in itself. Rather, I see Jewish nationality as a fact, and I believe that every Jew must draw the consequences from this fact. The minority, the ruling class at present, has the schools and press, usually the church as well, under its thumb. This enables it to organize and sway the emotions of the masses and make its tool of them. I was very pleased with your kind letter. Until now I never dreamed of being something like a hero. But since you've given me the nomination, I feel that I am one.